everybody, Steve DeCasa here. I uh, just got a new iMac and I'm trying out the screen capture software so I don't have to film my computer with my camera anymore, which was cool, but uh, uh, obviously this is going to be a lot more clear and you're going to be able to see things. I'll be able to do some stuff. Uh, you can see things really clearly. So uh, once again, I'm upping production quality, uh, I, 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 I hope. So what this video is going to be is this is going to be the new and improved export in HD using compressor with the goal of getting the footage up on YouTube um, without the file sizes being ginormous. I've, I've found a good way and the only way really that I know of, of dialing in the file size. Um, so I have two scenarios uh, I'll take you through and uh, let's start. So I'm just gonna kinda put myself down at the bottom here. Who knows uh, if I'll even be in it really fully. Uh, I'm gonna go into my hard drive, I'm gonna pull up. This is a audition video I shot for a friend of mine using the 5D. Um, she's auditioning for Cats in Maui. I really hope she gets it. Um, very talented singer, dancer. Oh, I disappeared. So there I am. You know what, I'll put myself on this side. So the first scenario we'll do is um, I have a little test sequence here. Now here's 15 minutes of footage. As you can see right here, 15 minutes of footage. Um, that's as much as uh, YouTube will, that's as much as YouTube will accept at this time. So you know what I didn't do that I'm gonna do? I'm gonna move this out of the way so I can see myself. So. YouTube will take 15 minutes of footage, no more. Um, but how do you get 15 minutes of footage? I shot it on the 5D. Um, up online, they say two gigs. There's a there's an advanced uploader for YouTube um, that you can go past two gigs, but you can get this to, to two gigs and uh, get it up online because. I mean, you and me both know two gigabytes to upload to YouTube takes forever anyway. So if you're really going for high quality and you really want to dial it into two gigs, here's how I do it. So first of all, you want to set your um, in and your out. I believe I did. Um, yeah, so my in and my out points are set up. I like to highlight it all. We'll go up to file. Now in this version, I have the newest version. It's of 7.0.3. It's not uh, export using compressor anymore. It's now send to compressor. They've changed it up a little bit. When I when I first saw that, I was kind of frightened, uh, honestly. Um, once again, I get rid of this for now. You can see me. Um, YouTube really likes the H.264 codec. So when you open up compressor, you're gonna get these windows here. Um, you wanna go to the settings section which is right here, settings, and then open up um, formats, and then you wanna get to QuickTime, Oop. QuickTime H264. And what you do is you drag it over to, drag settings and destinations here, and um, that's your setting, the H264. It's a good uh, compression codec. This part right here is where you're going to save the file. So I like to right click on it. I usually put it to other and I usually put it in my uh, hard drive somewhere. But for now, I'm not actually gonna be rendering this. This is just for a demonstration. I'm gonna right click destination. Let's go to the desktop. And you can you can come in here and change it to whatever you want, you know. You can do whatever you want. Um, so there's where it's gonna be saved. There's the file name, and here's how to dial in your file size. If you come down here and look at Inspector, it is telling you that the file size will be unknown. That's not good, because what happens if you render this out, you know, full on HD, and uh, it turns out to be over two gigs, three gigs, four gigs, who knows? You want to be able to tell it the file size. So what I do is I come into this tab right here, which is called the encoder tab. Um, you want to hit settings, 
and then it brings up this new window. Where you want to go is over here, data rate. If you restrict the data rate to a certain kilobit, you'll limit the file size. So you just have to play around. Uh, I started with 25,000 kilobits per second. Hit enter, and uh, you can see down here, the file size estimated is 2.88. Okay, not quite there yet. You gotta bring it down. So let's try 20,000. 2.3, we'll keep going. Let's try 17,500. Um, you want to go lower. Let's try 15,000. Okay, 1.73. Now this is an estimated file size, so it's going to be bigger. Usually it's bigger in my, uh, in my experience. Um, I don't want to say that's what she said, but I just did. So there it is, 1.73 gigabytes, and it's going to look great. There's no need to worry about the quality, especially for YouTube. It's going to pretty much down it anyway. So there you go. That's my thing. That's what I do. Pretty simple. This is what I do now, and this is what I've been doing. Um, really high quality, 1080p. It's going to look gorgeous. Now, another scenario, um, well, first of all, in case you don't know, in order to get this going, you come over to Submit. Um, this guy's going to pop up. You hit Submit again and it'll start going, but I'm going to cancel it because I don't want to do it. So let's quit compressor. It's not going to save. Now the second scenario is I have her actual um, uh, audition <laughs> video. This is her intro here, singing, more singing, some dancing that I shot, and then some video she sent, um, she sent me. Um, I had to make an edit there because I just put her, her information on the screen and I shouldn't do that. Uh, okay, continuing. So this is just, um, three minutes and eight seconds, right? So let's bring this out to compressor. Go to send, I mean file, send to compressor. Um, now once again, we just want... You know, we don't want a ginormous file. It's three minutes. It's actually in 720p. It's, it's uh, the way that it happened to, have to be. It's not in 1080. Um, so I figure 200, gig, 200 megabytes is, is fine. I, I don't, you know, it'll be a quick upload. It'll look good. Um, so once again, you want to come down to H.264, bring it in, you know, change your your uh, destination to whatever, change the file's name to whatever you want, uh, come down to inspector, encoder tab, settings on the video, and then your data rate. And I believe the data rate I liked was 7500. You gotta finesse it. And what you get down here is um, 180 and it's gonna be a little bit bigger when it's done. It'll probably be 190 probably 200 and I think that's a very reasonable and manageable uh, file size for 720p footage shot on Canon 5D um, And I think it looks great and uh, as soon as I get the okay from Taylor um, I have it actually on my uh, my account. It's just hidden right now um, but I'd like everybody to see it. You can check it out. I think the quality is great. So, really, that's about it. Then once again, click Submit. Click Submit up here, and uh, you'll have your file. Um, so that's it. I have a few more tutorial videos that I'm planning on doing. Um, one of them is a really cool thing that I can show you. I did a short film recently um, where the script called for a shot where part of the one of the actors in one part of the frame is moving and talking in real time. The other actor who's behind him walking in another part of the frame is moving in slow motion. Um, it's a really cool trick. Um, it's a pretty basic um, final cut Thing you can do it's using an eight point garbage mat and uh, I think uh, it's, it's a request video by a buddy of mine named Tom that I'm gonna do it for 
So stay tuned for that. It's going to be pretty informative, and it's going to it gives you a really cool effect, and uh, basically teaches you how to use garbage point mats. So it's 6:45 in the morning right now. I'm a little tired. I'm not my uh, usually chipper self, but uh, thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with your uh, your uh, HD footage. I really hope that this helped, and uh, it really has been a, a great tool that uh, I've discovered. Keep editing, and uh, I'm Steve Tacasa. Peace.